Hey YouTubers, welcome back. I'm here working once again on this 2000 Toyota Celica 1.8 GT model. I've worked on this car in the past. I have several videos on it. It has come in due to a severe misfire. I've already found the problem. It's, it's pretty much, it pretty much has a dead misfire on cylinder number two and a weak spark on cylinder number three. So I'm going to show you three methods that I use to find the problem by using a scan tool, using the misfire counts, and then doing a swap tronic by swapping coils, the bad coils to a different cylinder and see if it follows it. And then the third one doing a physical check using a test light connected to ground and then checking for a physical spark out of that bad coil so let me set up and show you guys real quick all right all right guys so I got my scans already set up I'm gonna go ahead and turn the vehicle on currently is running a bit rough due to this dead cylinder number two and a wig spark on number three I'm gonna show you guys real quick the misfire codes Currently it shows a P0300 which is a multiple misfire due to that number 3 which is not showing currently at this moment as a P0303 but it does show P0302 which is a bad coil pack or ignition coil. Alright so let's go back, go to data, all data and then looks, I'm going to show you the misfire count there you go currently showing zero there you go number two when it runs rough that's where it tends to do the misfire count number two Let's watch what happens as soon as I put it in drive. That's where it tends to misfire the most. So here we go. Put it in drive. Reverse. All right, so this is in drive. See, number two and three are misfiring at the moment now. So that's this is one method to find your potential misfire on cylinders one through four pretty much put it to put it on their load I'm gonna put it back in drive the severe mis the severe misfires will go away a bit let's see if it updates I'm back to zero All right, guys. So this is one method, like I said, using a scan tool and going into the misfire counts. There you go. Now, back to number two again. Number three is not misfiring for, at the moment, just under load. All right. So now let me show you guys by doing a swap tronic now. All right, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap number two for one, and show you guys that number two will follow now to cylinder number one. All right. All right. So I have already swapped number two for one. Let's crank the engine over and let's watch on cylinder number one now. And that shows number three, like I said. There's another ignition coil that's going bad. Let's wait for number one to kick in. Like I said, that's another one that's pretty much a dead coil. There you go. Once the vehicle goes into closed loop, that's when we tend to get the cylinder number one misfire, or that no, that one bad coil pack that's dead starts to give you uh, misfire counts. So well now it shows one and three being the culprit. So we know that since number two went back, that followed to cylinder number one, we know that we have a bad coil. It's not the spark plug or, or injector. 
on number on number two it's a faulty ignition coil that's actually more severe right now with both one and three now let me put it in drive real quick all right so this is in drive now it's running real bad as you can see my camera's shaking both cylinders are currently misfiring severely we have two dead cylinders all right the, the last step is to go ahead and do a physical check with the test light connected to ground and let's compare the uh, or check the uh, voltage or the spark coming out of the ignition coil all right all right guys so i'm here checking ignition coil number one that's the one that i swapped from two to one and check for that physical spark with the test light a good test light should be able to jump uh, about an inch of gap like you see there's about a, an inch there's no spark but if i put it in there might be some some spark coming out As you can see there's a very minimal spark but it's very weak that spark is not enough to be able to give full energy to the spark plug inside the cylinder same thing is happening to the uh ignition core number three it's a very weak spark the solution is to go ahead and replace the, the ignition coils once i get these new ones i'll show you guys real quick the the fix all right all right guys so i have already replaced the two faulty ignition coils for uh, cylinders two and three i actually put back the good one back to cylinder number one so the two cylinders that were affected from the beginning of the video were two and three i placed the two new ones in those two cylinders as you can see on the image brand yec made in japan it's an aftermarket but comes from Japan which is close to uh, manufacturer specs which is a Denzel brand all right guys so this is a moment of truth you know I'm gonna go ahead and start the vehicle and it's concentrated on cylinders two and three here we go so way way better guys before there was a little bit of a extended crank this time it cranked over with no problem. As you can see, it shows zeros in all four cylinders, especially number two and three. But the next step is to go ahead and press the, actually put the vehicle in drive and see if it gives us any uh, misfires. Number two, there's one, which could be normal, especially since there was a uh, unburned fuel being dumped into cylinder number two especially on the spark plug, probably being wet of fuel. But one is still better than constant misfires. The be uh, best practice here, since the vehicle was misfiring, especially a severe misfire, is to go ahead and replace uh, the oil due to oil contamination, I mean due to fuel contamination, which was being dumped into the cylinder, which was being unburned due to a weak spark on that two and three ignition coils I'm gonna go ahead and put it in drive now as you can see we no longer have that severe misfire on number two and three it shows zeros so this is pretty much a fix guys I would go ahead and show you guys uh, the, the the physical check on the spark but there's no need to you know you could go ahead and do it yourselves you know just make sure to have a good ground with the test light and like I said if you remove the test light about an inch away from the inside of the boot your spark should be able to jump about an inch of gap In our case, we had a weak spark 
that you saw on that faulty ignition coil so all right guys so this is a fix you know and hopefully you guys learned something and hopefully you guys enjoyed it it's eli dobity tech subscribe if you like mm -hmm.